everyone. Thanks again for joining me. I'm Heather. This is Beauty Tastes Great. And today we're talking about my new makeup bag, my new makeup, my new brushes. Um, I've had a whole, you know, refit in my bathroom for all my makeup and brushes and things. And I'm so excited about it because it's such a lot of fun to buy new makeup and things like that. So let's start with my brushes. So the first brush that I'm going to tell you about, and I just bought this one when I went to Mac, um, is my stipple brush. I've had stipple brushes in the past, but I have three daughters and you know, they, they like these things. They don't have that much money. So they end up taking mine. And of course I give it to them. I'm, I'm like that. But uh, anyway, time to get my own. All my daughters have moved out now. So this one's going to actually stay with me. The reason I like a stipple brush to put on foundation is because it puts it on so lovely and lightly. Little bit of water, little bit of foundation, and then stippling all over and brushing it in. And you get that lovely finish that you're looking for. So you never look like you have a mask on your face. It just kind of highlights your color, providing you have the right kind of makeup. But you can look at my makeup video for that. Um, then we want to set that, right? So we use a powder brush. Now, not everyone likes powder. I like powder, but I like it very, very lightly applied, just the tiniest dusting so that it holds everything in place. I think it looks nice. And my experience is as long as you're light handed with it, you don't get it all stuck in the, the fine lines and wrinkles and things like that. So I really like dusting with this lovely big powder brush. And then I like to take my, my uh, magnifying mirror, look at it up close and say, is, do I have a little too much on? Is it stuck in any kind of cracks? Have I left any, you know, foundation? If I left anything looking a bit heavy. And then I take my fan brush. Now, a lot of people use the fan brush for bronzer, that kind of thing. I don't tend to use bronzer. So what I do is I just take my magnifying mirror and I just, you know, check it and, and give it a little fan. Make sure everything's even and dusted off. And the same thing with this one. Now, this is a blending brush. What I like to do with it, though, if I've used my makeup, my, my foundation, my concealer, check it again, and I check in the, any kind of grooves and I make sure it's all pushed in like this, you know, so that if there's any, you know, my pores, that kind of thing, it kind of just pushes them in. And around my eyes here, where when I look in this magnifying mirror, I can see wee lines, tiny little lines around my eyes. Well, we don't want those getting filled with anything at all. So I find if I just use this brush and I push it this way, I can just clean all that up and smooth it out and it looks really nice. So that's what I use that one for. And then what other ones do we have? Well, everybody is going to use your angled brushes like this, really fine angled brush with um, very tightly packed bristles. And you're going to use those for your eye makeup. You're going to do those details, you know, around here. You're going to push all your, put your makeup on there, glide it on. Same thing underneath. You're going to use your angled brush for that. And then one brush I have, which you don't see everywhere, but I really, really like this one, is this brush here. And it's very tight bristles at the top, and it's got a little bend in it like that. I hope you can see that. And I like to use that, too, just to blend everything in up there and be able to get in without having, you know, my fingers up close. I like that brush for that. Um, then we have lots of different blending brushes like this. They're domed on the top. They're tightly bristled. And they're just great for putting on your eye makeup, right? So you're going to have like a lighter eye makeup all over. You're going to start off with like a pale color all over. And then you're going to have some darker colors down here. You don't want to put too much darkness here once you get a little older because it, it tends to make you look like your eyes are heavy. You don't want to have heavy eyes. You want to have nice, bright, open, white eyes. So what you want to do is have a really good brow job right? They say a good brow job is just like a good, just like a facelift. And it's true because it makes such a huge difference. You want it to go up, angle up right over the iris here like that, and then down. And that will open your eye right up. And then the light color up here keeps everything bright eyed. Um, and then we want to use a brow brush. Now I'm not hundred percent happy with my brows right now. They're in a transition stage. They're not quite the right color going with my hair because my hair is turning gray. It's gradually turning gray and I'm letting it do that. And we're going to see what I look like, who knows, you know, once it turns completely gray. But the eyebrows are a little trickier. So you've got to find a color and I'm waiting for one to come in that I ordered through Mac um, to try and, you know, make that sort of transition in the brow as well. Um, for now, I'm using what I've used for a long time and I'm just trying to use the lighter 
and of the sort of taupe colors that I've been using uh, and work with that. So that's what I'm doing. But it's important to brush the brow up and, uh, and then I like to put a little bit of hairspray on my brush and that holds everything in place. And of course, many of the brow kits come with wax as well, which you can use the same way. And then on the other side is the little comb and that's just, you know, to comb out those lashes to make sure that you don't have any clumps or anything like that. Uh, one other thing I was thinking about in here, of course, lipstick, right? I really, really like to use a brush to put on my lipstick. So we can, you know, obviously just put it on like that, or I think it's nice to use a brush because you can get right in here. After you've put your wax on, you know, your little bit of lip liner, you can get right in there and you can give yourself that nicely defined look that you're looking for on your lips. So that's it for my brushes today. Um, you know, if you've got some brushes that you really like and you want to share them with us, we'd love to hear, hear about it how you use your brushes, how many brushes do you think you actually need? And if there's a brand that you think makes an exceptional makeup brush, we'd like to hear about that too. So thanks again for joining me here at Beauty Tastes Great. I'm Heather. I look forward to making more videos for you, and I'll see you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.